So uh, if you're watching from uh, as an NCAR employee or an NCAR affiliate, hang in there. And if you're watching in any other capacity, especially if you are a scientist who works or uses NCAR data, I think this is the moment to be reaching out to your lawmakers and speaking with journalists about the value of NCAR and what would be lost, what will be lost if the current plan is fully put into motion. I think we need to be clear about that. This, 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 this would be nothing short of a truly devastating loss for Again, not just the weather and climate community, which it would be, not just the natural hazard disaster wildfire communities, which it would be, not just for universities and private and public sector research, which it would be, but also for the American economy, for our ability to prevent people from dying in disasters. Yes, eventually, in the long run, if we don't do this research anymore, there are people who will be affected by disasters who will either... Uh, lose their property, or yes, die in disasters unnecessarily if we really dismantle all of this. So I think the stakes couldn't be higher. This is also something that is potentially changeable. Trajectory is not set in stone. And I think this is a moment where uh, community, um, com really community action, community intervention, talking about this getting the word out is actually really important. It's always important on a on certain level, but I think this is a case where lack of understanding of how important NCAR is, lack of understanding of how much NCAR has underpinned th things we take for granted in day-to-day -day life in this country and around the world, I think is really important because I think if people really understood this, then the, then the outcry for this potential action would be even greater.